So he took the money out of Otani's, lost it, or won it, and then put it in his own? I guess. But th- Okay, so then here's the next question. And again, we're getting more as this happens. But the IRS, you have they, they, they do check your bank account. You just can't deposit like, hey, I, I miraculously made a million dollars today. On or about June 23rd, 2023, Ipe messaged his bookie stating, quote, I'm the worst, LOL. Can't catch a break. Can I get one last bump? The complaint... And this is the federal investigation. It's 37 pages. Jason Stark helping to unravel some details. The complaint states that between December 2021, which is not that long ago, and this January 2024, Ipe, Otani's translator, or interpreter, sorry, interpreter is what I've been told to call it, allegedly placed, quote, approximately 19,000 wagers, losing bets, 182.94 million, winning bets, million total losses, nearly $40.7 million. Allegedly, the winnings were deposited into his own bank account, not Otani's. So he took the money out of Otani's, lost it, or won it, and then put it in his own? I guess. But Okay, so then here's the next question. And again, we're getting more as this happens. But the IRS, you have they, they they do check your bank account. You just can't deposit like, hey, I, I miraculously made a million dollars today. Yeah, but it doesn't go in and out that quickly. Like it's it's in your it's in these websites. I've seen them from friends growing up. But back in the day, they have these websites that are set up. It's usually run by you know companies that work in other countries and you have a flow going in and out and then every once in a while you have to pay that or you receive that money. That's how it works. Or that's how I've seen it work. Right. It's not like every day he's getting it into the account. Yeah, But at some point, like, let's say he's up a million dollars. Like he's just going to be like, Oh, I fired a million dollars into my account. People are going to be like, where'd you get the million dollars? Yeah. I mean, on a translator salary, I'm assuming that's not me. He's not making $2 million a year. He is not. He was getting paid well into six figures, but not seven yeah, figures. But, wow, it's amazing. But he was down forty million. So was he just going to steal forty million from Shohei? Probably would have just kept going. Could would have kept going. I mean, other parts that we're learning here from the federal investigation it sounds like they said we don't believe any bets were made on baseball games. Investigators also relied on phone calls from the bank in which Mizuhara falsely identified himself as Otani to trick and deceive bank employees into authorizing the transfers. The complaint outlined one specific transfer on June 20th, 2023, of 500K to an associate of a bookmaker. While the bookmaker is not named in the complaint, his role in detail matched that of Matthew Boyer. That's the dude that's under the investigation. And then also the U.S. Attorney's Office said Otani was interviewed by federal investigators last week and denied authorizing the wire transfers. Otani provided his cell phone to law enforcement, who determined that there was no evidence to suggest that Otani was aware of or involved in Mizuhara's illegal gambling activity or payment of those debts. I mean, for, yeah. There's a massive complaint document here. Yeah, you're going to read and you're going to get back to me. Going through. Um, Well, we're we're bringing out the good stuff right now. I mean, this is the hmm. juicy details that, We've been waiting first, to hear Okay, so about. if he walks into a bank, let's look, okay, look, first of all, let's let's say it's in Japan. And he goes, I'm Shohei Otani. Do you don't think they know what Shohei Otani looks like? Does he have an ID that says he's Shohei Otani? No, it's a phone call. No, he said he walked into a bank. It says he went into a bank and said he was Shohei Otani, identified. Or, oh man, this is crazy to me. No, no, no. recorded phone calls. Didn't Re- go into oh, the Oh, recorded phone Called calls. Called the bank, yeah called the bank and said who he is and had his, all his information. That does happen. I've, I've, I've done a couple legal wire transfers before and the ba- and for a small amount of money and the bank called and they asked a bunch of questions and yeah, are you yeah. authorized to send yeah, if this? I go blah, into blah, a blah, bank, blah. If I call into a bank and say, hey, I want to transfer money, they're going to call me back on my cell phone and make sure it's me. Well, he, he probably had show, but gosh, this is great, man. He yeah, thought dude. about, he, had he, it he all. went through it all. He went through it all. I mean, we're going gosh, through some of this. Dog. On or about June 23rd, 2023, Ipe messaged his bookie stating, quote, I'm the worst, LOL. Can't catch a break. Can I get one last bump? I swear this is going to be my last until I get the balance down significantly. I promise this will be the last bump for a while. 
Bookie responded the same day stating, okay, NP, no problem. Done. Well, here's, a, here's another question for me. If him and Shohei were allegedly, they were together all the time, right? Weren't they allegedly like together yes. 24 hours a day? Not 24. They were at the ballpark together. I'm sure he went home and. No, they're gosh, together. Man. They're together off the field too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. When was he making the, I want to know when he was making these bets. If, if he's on his phone, like he's probably, he can make them in the field. Like he's not, he's not sitting there like spotting him while he's, but he's like, he throws with, I think somebody was saying Ipe and him, they would throw together out in the outfield. I know other translators that would throw with their, with the, the player that they were the interpreter for. It was, they're, they're together all the time. He may, he was averaging making 26 bets a day. A day. Gosh, man. Crazy. This People whole thing are on their crazy. phones playing video games for two hours a day yep. or more. I'm, t- I'm saying even players, right? There's players that sit on their phone, they're texting, they're on socials, and they go home, and they play video games for a few hours. Yeah. I know. Listen, it's just crazy to me that this can... <sighs> You're just reading all the details as we go. Here. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Just, th- just, just think of that number. Just marinate on the number one hundred and eighty-two point nine four million dollars. Is what he is. What he his losses. He won 20... over one hundred and forty-two million. How does 26? But that's just what he placed against what, you know, like what he won versus what he lost. The the real thing is what the, yeah, he was placing a, a very large quantity of illegal bets on a daily basis. 250 million a day. I mean, 250,000. If, if I'm basing it on 730, 730 days. Yeah, but dude, twenty six. How does he get to nineteen thousand in two years at twenty six a day? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Nineteen thousand divided by seven hundred and thirty. I'm just. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Right. Yeah, so you're right. Jeez. Let, let's spin this forward. All this coming uh, anyways, out, right? This is all just wait, crazy, wait. Man. But here's here's where I like our show, you guys. All this is coming out. We had details come out a few weeks ago, or really just the story dropping when. The Dodgers were out in Korea. It shook the sports world for sure. And that was before we had many details. Now we're finding this out. Ipe made, or sorry, Shohei Otani made the statement about Ipe publicly before the domestic season started. The Dodgers are off today. They're back on tomorrow, obviously, for the weekend, taking on the Padres in a big series. Anything happening in the clubhouse if you're his teammate? Even no. if you don't know him that well. I'm, no, no, no. I'm saying like you don't even go up to him and just be like, hey, dude. Or just ignoring so, everything. There'll be some hey, rowdy Tele- There'll be some rowdy Tellez go up and be like, hey, bro, you got a couple bucks I can borrow? No. Like as a, <laughs> just to bug with him? Uh, the great the, the, won't. There'll be somebody that would say, I don't know. I don't know. Ice. Show it. Yeah, just to kind of. That's got, what I'm asking. Like, what happens be, in the clubhouse? Because yeah, there's going to be somebody that's going to go up. And now, again, I don't know how well they know. Now, if he was on the Angels, still definitely they're definitely. Now the Dodgers are different because they're a new team. Yeah. But if you if you're with somebody for a long time, and again, I mean, it, it's sad, man. It, it's just sad. But most people just won't say anything to him because most people will be like, I don't know what to say to him, right? Because what do you say to somebody that just found out they lost sixteen million dollars in two years and had no idea? I mean, it's like, oh. Uh, to their friends. Now, if there's a good friend, you know, that knows him, then somebody might say something to him. But it's like, all right, let's go get the Padres tonight, boys. If I was at dinner with him after the game, I'd say, this sucks, but nobody's hurt physically. You are rich as fuck. And they caught the dude. So, worst things can happen. It's a crazy-ass story, but... He's a rich man. I don't know. Maybe the, the money gets recouped anyway, and no one got hurt. I'm wondering what the charges will be, like you mentioned at the top of our show. Like, is he going to prison for this, his dude? He's got to go to prison for this. At this point, he has to. Plea deal. Right, Crafty? I mean, yeah, but if he pleads, what's he going to plead down to? He's going to get something, right? I mean, there's got to be more. $16 million. 
he could say this dude look at these texts this guy's like yeah go for it go go more give me more you know that just the fact of him wiring a bookie money is illegal so that's yeah. for, that's wire fraud but usually they go after the kingpin true but he's got to get something they're not going to be like it's okay you pay you can go back to your translator job and nothing oh. no i mean there's something going to happen facing up to 30 years Woo. is that what it is i don't know if he's gonna get 30 years but he's gonna get something all right we'll keep everyone posted hey everybody be sure to like and subscribe for more content we're back here every weekday all year long so do not miss an episode the videos are coming in all day here's another video you might enjoy baseball the way it should be covered.